five practice days just to see that it still sounds like shit. Are you fucking ready to put the record button? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you, you fucking cocks. Oh, okay, yeah, don't curse. Yeah, I'm gonna start not cursing, you fire. Hey! Yeah, I, I get that you don't like when I curse at you, but I would prefer to continue being abusive. That is how I prefer to be right now. Yeah, that, hey, when the clocks are turned down and we're not out of here and I'm just minding my own business, then I won't curse at you. But you mean, fucking make me do this at three in the morning? Yeah, I know this fucking I was away anyway. Fuck it, I don't know why I just repeated what you just said to me. Because I just, because I know I was fucking awake. I was at Twitter. Fucking cocksuckers. Hey, sorry, anyway, you know, we're fucking doing this, I guess. Whatever, Timmy Gus don't. This is the Timmy Gus don't show episode. I don't know, fucking. Hey, what episode is it? He's really taking his time. What ep? You still think? You still? You just? You still thinking about what episode it is? I asked you about a half hour ago, you twat. Yeah, I'm kind of worked up today. If you don't know, kind of worked up because of Twitter. You know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of taking it out of my manager. This guy over here. Episode six. I heard you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twelve. It's episode six. Yeah, that's 12 times 2. Yeah. Uh, divided by 4. Okay, check it. Okay, we can we start it? Okay, sorry. I was supposed to start this a long time ago with this guy. He's boiling a bone. He's boiling, bo he's boiling soup in the microwave. I hear him boiling in the fucking microwave. He keeps making his beep sound. Beep. And then it makes another sound to show that, hey, it, 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 the microwave is still be still ready. So it makes another, it makes it, it makes a quieter beep. It's, it makes a more passive aggressive beep to tell you, hey, 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 beep, beep, get your fucking soup out. All right, I got you. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm going to stop talking about my uh, roommate for a few minutes here and get into the, are we fucking done? No, we're not fucking done. Oh, okay. Sorry, it's a little, it's a little inside baseball, the little joke there. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm very happy to be. My name's Timmy Gusto. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I done this. I don't fucking know. I was just sleeping in a genie bottle. Time don't go by for Timmy Gusto unless he's wearing his glasses. When Timmy Gusto is here, he's wearing the glasses. I don't fucking know where I've been or how long it's been. Today. I think it's actually like the two-year anniversary or something. Since I started doing this, it's something like this. Like, I think uh, we actually just reached our two-year anniversary, and so we're going to celebrate that by doing episode six. Yeah, okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, the reason I, I was up all fucking night in a tizzy, bitch, because it's on Twitter. There's fucking guys on Twitter. I think I'm just going to go on these for a little conversation, to poke a little fun at the, uh, the passerby. But then as soon as I get out of there, it's all these feisty libtards. <laughs> you know, fuck it, I'll show you. I think I did this like a year. I did it like a year. Hey, fuck it, these celebrities that I, do, that I thought I loved, these people. I thought, uh, what's this guy's name? Oh, yeah, Mark Cuban. So basically, we're going to do a whole episode trashing uh, a celebrity and uh, basically just saying as much bad shit as they can about this guy because uh, I don't like it. I used to I used to be a fan of Shaq Tank back in 2009 when it came out of the, 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 the tube. I was with, with my family, you know, what's left of it, <laughs> what's left of them after the war. It was one of the Shack Tank, and they were like, this is a nice, this is a good, this is a good. that's what they said. I don't know if you can understand what I said, but they said, this is a good show. They mumbled it, but they, but I understood them, because I live with them. This is a good show, is what they said, and I kind of agreed with them, because I always thought of myself as a future entrepreneur, and that uh, turned out it to be uh, not true. 
uh, it was just a fun thing to think. I was, I was just like, you know, it, it reminds me of me. I, I, I see that billionaire in me. I see myself in him. Whatever the hell sounds better. I didn't see him in me. I didn't give a fuck about him. I was like, nah, I, 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 I'm, I'd, I'd be better at being him than him. That's what I thought. That's what I think whenever I see a rich guy, or like a rich, famous, whatever. I go, yeah, okay. But if I was him, I'd be, a, you know, a step, a step even better. Because uh, I'd, I'd, I'd be doing it my own way, which is the Timmy Gusto way. You don't fucking, you, don't, you can't top perfection. Yeah, that's why I don't release a lot of these episodes because it's a lot of work. It's like pushing out a baby. Every episode is a fucking baby. And I know what it feels like to push out a baby because I've put out six of these episodes. And the first one is two years old by now, so it's old enough to walk. I've had many kids, like like legitimately kids, but I, I'm not talking about that. Talking about podcasts. I've had many kids. Yeah, it's just delivery to see planting a little. That's easy, kids. I'm not talking to my kids. I'm just saying kids as in like the general terminology to mean people watching the show. You know, I address my kids. Uh, I address them by not talking about how easy it was to make them. That's kind of ridiculous. Hey, hey, Shotty, uh, it was ridiculously easy to make you. That was nothing. I just jizzed in my... So I, I don't really have those conversations with my kids. I don't really have any conversations with them because I'm not a good parent. In saying that out loud, I didn't think it would hurt. I thought I would be able to do it. But behind these sunglasses, if you could see these eyes, does these cameras that we use and pick up behind sunglasses, are we shooting enough... Because if you could see behind these sunglasses, it's going to reveal that I'm staring right at the camera's monitor the entire time, looking at myself. I'm not looking at the fucking camera. I'm looking at myself because I look fucking cool. My name is Timmy Gusto, and I look cool because I designed it to be that. I designed myself to be cool. Well, of course, I think it's fucking cool. I, I made it. Fuck. Okay, sorry. I had nothing to do with... I'm drinking tea, so I... The tea doesn't really go with the energy that I'm portraying right now. That I'm pushing out, you know. The energy that I got going doesn't really go with tea. You know? Tea, tea is more like... Tea's more like, Hey, I want to have a cup of tea, mate. Well, just have a cup of tea and watch the uh, telegrams. Send a telegram... And then take the lift. And then we'll watch Mr. No, not Mr. Then we'll watch Doctor Who. Nah, but I'm not that fucking guy right now. I'm a fucking Jew. Uh, well, okay. Technically, I have Jewish DNA, but it's not, uh, it's not really involved in this personality right now. I'm kind of mostly just an Italian guy. You know, American Italian. I don't know. I don't know. If I was an Italian who lived in Italy, I wouldn't talk like this. This is an American Italian accent. It's very genuine. And it, it, I also have a southern accent, so I can't really go without showing that part, too. I say genuine. It doesn't really sound Italian when you go genuine. But I, I, I am who I am. Shuck my cock. Not gonna apologize. So back to the topic here. Hey, we're gonna defame. <laughs> no, we're not gonna defame anybody. We're gonna defame somebody. We're gonna defame not just somebody. <laughs> I cracked myself up. So I, I'm so sorry about that. I, I'm so sure I cracked myself the fuck out of. Hey, did you hear that joke? I don't think he's awake, to be honest. Oh, okay, he's a fuck. He's awake. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. You're sleeping now. Whoa. Because you gotta be up for Juneteenth, yo. You got a big rally for Juneteenth. 
he can't hear me. I'm not actually like gonna yell at him if he's sleeping, but Hey, so you gotta be up for June day, eh? I didn't wanna I don't wanna like wake the neighbors. <laughs> I'm just trying to fucking talk to my roommate. I'm just trying to troll him. I don't wanna like make fun of I don't wanna make it seem like I'm yelling at somebody outside the Oh, okay, okay, so, so anyway, so it's June 10th, and there's nothing to do with it, what, what the fuck I'm talking about, so we're gonna go on Twitter here, okay, so check this shit out, so this is my Twitter feed, um, you can see that the first thing that comes up is, is somebody that's definitely not somebody that I follow, it's not somebody I follow, it's not somebody that I look up to in any way, I, why would I follow? I, why would they show me this person if I have no desire to be influenced by what they're saying? Well, apparently I do like to be influenced by what because I respond to pretty much everything. This guy fucking right there because it's good. It's good. He's good. He's good. He's good at he's good at baiting retarded people like me. Into taking the bait, he's 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 not saying anything clever. He it just it just so it just pisses me off that it's so stupid what he's saying. So I have to. Do. Okay, this one I don't know anything to say about it because it has nothing to do with Trump. It shows it shows a picture of Trump. Okay, that's porn. <laughs> Did you know that porn is on Twitter now? So anyway, now that everything's cool again, isn't it crazy? Okay. So, you know, I was kind of pissed off a few hours ago, right? But now I'm not pissed off anymore because I already got my shit off my chest. So maybe if we keep reading, maybe something will happen and it'll get worked up again. Because I, tweet, I tweeted so, so many people and Mark Cuban. I mean, I, mean, I tweeted... Mostly about Mark Cuban, but 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 before that, I tweeted for like five hours. So, so what am I gonna go back to tweet more, even more? Well, yeah, because we're live. It's fucking Juneteenth. Okay, well, this is big. I mean, we ain't really fucking talk about this. I mean, Joe Biden today signed an executive order uh, with new actions to keep families together. Okay, well, hey, that sounds great, but, but you know, but I'm already getting kind of worked up because that's such a fucking bullshit thing to say already. A, okay, let's give me a chance to finish. Okay, and then as more goes on, it says, these new measures will clarify and speed up the work visas to help people, including dreamers. Okay, I'm starting to get pissed off. Okay, there's no way this guy's going to stay asleep during this if I read this fucking shit about letting people in the country illegally or whatever the fuck but nah it's not that it's it's uh dreamers the word dreamers just pisses me off because it means that somebody's taking my dreams away from me i got my own dream i'm a 35 year old individual it's like three and a half in uh dog years in people years uh 35 is like the new three and a half I got my own feeling to protect. I don't give a fuck. Oh, yeah, dreams, not feel. I got my own dreams to pursue. I don't give a fuck about... Uh, who's he talking about? Immigrants. That's who I thought he was talking about. He, he's a high skill. Perfections and streamline. The process, yeah, streamline. I don't. I know what that means. That means just let them all in. Just cut the cord. Just let the fence crumble. They open the fence up and just let, let them all. That's what that's what streamlined me. It means yeah, fuck that part. I'm getting worked up. That's what streamlined me. It just means yeah, fuck the world. Yeah, we have a modern up. We upgraded our system where it's more optimal. It's more streamlined. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that means just come come right in. Dreamers is what that means. Not only do you get to come right in in a streamlined fashion, 
but you also get to call yourself a dreamer with a capital D. I, 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 I'm not exaggerating. Does, I'm, did you not read the fucking phone? I'm, I can shake it around. You can still read it. It's, it's still showing the screen. It's still recording. Isn't that fucking crazy? I'm literally shaking the screen and it's perfectly still. You could you could read okay you get okay you could get it. He's saying immigrants. That's he's saying something good about immigrants. So now I'm getting pissed off. Now you see what it goes through when a person who's just three years old, three and a half decades years old, same thing, goes on Twitter. Innocently, I was in a good mood. You can tell I'm in a good mood, and I read this shit about dreamers, as if I don't got my own dreams to worry about in Timmy Gusto land. I don't know if you, if if Joe Biden has looked at the newspaper lately, but there isn't exactly a column featuring Timmy Gusto's advancements in his career lately. Have you seen it? I don't know. Maybe there is. I don't know. But last time I ch- checked. The fucking newspaper, it was red all over. It was red all over with blood. Because I read it until it turned, until I was blue in the face. Didn't say nothing about my dreams and then, and then, and then, and there, and then, and then, there, and what? So, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe Nick Cuban, whatever the fuck his name is, Nick? Mark, Mark, maybe Mark Cuban isn't who I really care about today. Maybe uh, uh, Joe Biden. I don't know. Like, uh, uh, I'm not going to call him Joe Biden. Fuck that guy. I'm going to come one of these guys. Don't even like to say his name. He's not my president. Uh, I'm going to call him uh, uh, Brandon. I'm going to call him Dark Brandon. And uh, I know that he likes being called that. But I'm calling that. Ironically, like, you know, I'm calling it that because, uh, because that's the only thing I could think to call. I mean, I hate because, it... all right, we done. Uh, he, 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 I don't want to wake him up. Okay, so anyway, that was, that was just, whoa. We can move on. We don't have to keep sitting and lingering on the same shit. Su- Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Is, is there a producer in the fucking head of the building or what? Is there a fucking producer in a It's like, hey, asshole, if I'm lingering on a topic for too long and, like, trying to get myself out of a bit that's bombing, you could tell me to move the fuck out of the room. So, you know, it's not good for your health. Okay, here's another one. They came out yesterday and fucking Jack cocksucking black. You know, you know, you know. You know, I, 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 I usually, I, I, I think I, I used to think it was just the irrelevant celebrities that go down this rabbit hole of like, I'm going to become political. Okay, yeah, I'll take, I'll be a pawn. Yeah, I'll be a shill. I'll be a shill. What a fucking frog. Not that he was anything not that he was anything good before that, but like, okay, Jack Black, uh, not that I gave a fuck about you, but now you're just a political pawn. That's all I'm going to think of now when I think of you. Great. No longer thinking of Bowser. No longer thinking of that two-minute Bowser song where the whole song is just peach, peaches, peaches. That's, just, that's the whole lyrics. It's a really bad... Like anybody, what the fuck? That was a major motion picture song on a major motion picture. Page, 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 Go fuck yourself, Jack Black, for singing that song and for it being very anticlimactic. Page, page, page. What the fuck? So he is irrelevant to, 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 now that I really think of that motherfucker, that guy hasn't been relevant since King Kong. 
Now that I think of it, it's like, because I was thinking, did he play Donkey? No, he didn't play Donkey Kong. He played the cock-sucking Bowser. The thing that I'm remembering is King Kong from 20 years ago when the game was relevant and I was just learning how to play with my dick. I was just learning how to play with my dick and this guy was in a fucking major motion picture. No wonder the guy sucking the the holy power structure, the whole the holy faceless elite. I was in a movie twenty years ago that was moderate. That is the last thing that I have done since. That is of relevance. I did School of Rock. School of Rock was two thousand four. Or 2003s. It was pretty much the same time as, uh, as King Kong. And that's it. That's fucking it. Okay. I'm not picking him apart because I give a fuck. Because I'm trying to say that he's like a loser. But he kind of is. <laughs> Whoa. I dropped my phone. Is it still recording? I think because I dropped it. I was like, hey, buddy, we're going to turn up the... Okay, so we're back to the recording. So I, I'm not, I can still keep talking about Jack fucking Black, but who cares about that guy? So this woman is a GG. I mean, yeah, this was not, this would, the, it's, I'm not gonna fucking watch it. I guess we could. Bob and do this, okay? I want you to. Yeah, I can't. I, I, you, I, <laughs> you think I could watch a, a, the sound on? I can't even handle the face. I can't even handle looking at this person's visage. If this person was a mannequin, they would be the ugliest mannequin. Okay, I shouldn't just attack them for their... Okay, I gotta smoke it here. I would prefer you did not smoke. That... What do you mean I can't fucking smoke it here? Yeah, fuck studio. yeah, I'm smoking anyway. I'm not gonna listen to this fucking guy. I can't smoke. Can't smoke it either. Smoke free studio. Yeah, okay, smoke free studio, but yeah, shut the fuck off. I'm the talent. Okay. Well, anyway, back to this video. So the woman here, she looks like a bird. <laughs> she looks like a fucking bird, but not a nice bird. She looks like a fucking one of those big birds that are not the friend that kind of kind of you're seeing like a like a cartoon holy shit is that an unpleasant looking motherfucker it could be a dude for I don't know that's why I said motherfucker I was gonna say something feminine but you don't really call women motherfucker but like is this a dude oh it's a dude so I no longer even have to feel bad it's a dude I don't, it's, 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 okay, this woman, I'm retarded sometimes, <laughs> you can't fucking read, it says this woman, it's a woman, I was right, see, I could see gender, gender's real, okay, now, okay, so I don't care about what the content, I just wanted to look at how ugly they were, I mean, if they're ugly, what do I care what they gotta say? Smoke free studio, my cock sucking ass. I got nowhere to put this out. I got no ash. I actually wasn't planning on lighting this. So, anyway, if somebody's ugly, I'm not going to care what they got to say because they usually mean that their opinions are formed around the fact that they're ugly. I'm not ugly, so my opinions, you know what I meant to say, are correct. All my opinions are correct, because I'm hot, you know, not hot, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm hot enough to where I don't got to worry about it, so my opinions are not formed around my looks, or in this woman's case, lack thereof, but I'm not here to bully people. Alright, I gotta put out this cigarette for cocksucking thing. I wasn't planning on actually lighting it. Actually lit it? Yeah, I told you not to light it. I was just doing it as a channel. Yeah, but we don't have an ashtray. And that's kind of rude. I know that it's late. 
Yes, I'm not just, just going to be one of these guys that just walks around the, the house yelling at the... So anyway, we're back. Hope you enjoyed the little bathroom break, whatever the hell happened there. I don't know. I wouldn't know, fucker. At least I could vape. They said I could vape in here. I could vape, right? Yeah. He's like, he's like, yeah, you could vape. He didn't even wait for me to ask the fucking question because he could hear me. He could hear what I'm doing. I don't even care. <laughs> I forgot, dude. I forgot that you're listening, that you have monitors in your fucking bedroom, dude. I'm so, I feel like such an asshole, dude. I'm not even doing the accent anymore. Okay, so anyway, this fucking broad is a fucking whore. Okay, next one. I I didn't mean to say that. Where did that come from? Okay, so anyway, this, this is a vape that I'm allowed to smoke out of, too, and it's purple. Okay, so here's another one of these guys that, that uh, they ride a, uh, the bias. I'm not going to try to explain it like, I, like, I, like I'm a smart guy or nothing like that. But, but, uh, but, but just because I can't explain it doesn't mean that I don't know what's going on. So this Darwin person, they only post stuff that already is what they think. And it never changes. So it's like, okay, so you're just a one-dimensional meme. And you don't shift it all. Nothing about you change. It's the most unnatural fucking thing you could be. Is for for in this case, it's a it's a atheist or something. It's a Darwin. It's somebody that believes in uh, atheism, which whatever which okay. So that's their whole identity. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm just as much of an atheist as this person, but I don't. But is it my whole identity? It's not even like one percent. Does that mean I'm better than this person? I think that goes without saying. So, let's, so anyway, taxes are all the churches to pay for universal health care. You know which, uh, what Jesus would uh, would want. Sorry. Yeah, I don't really see the the joke there. I don't really see the joke there. Maybe it's an inside baseball reference. But but to me, they're just saying, you know, it's what Jesus would have wanted. It's like they're trying to use, like, Jedi mind tricks or something. That can't be the whole joke. I mean, I am I wasn't born yesterday. That guy, obviously, there's a reason. I don't know who that is. Joe Osteen? I don't fucking know who that is. So anyway, we're going to keep going. Let's stop spending so much time on it. So this person, uh, Mayo. Yes, Mayo is uh, the lowest denominator you could get. But they're very talented at what they do. I mean, you got to give them credit to be that poisonous, <laughs> that around the clock. I, I, I don't even fucking want to be a, awake that often. This person is not only awake, they're tweeting negative things around the clock every single day. Hour every hour of the day, you will find this person has another tweet about Donald Trump and how they don't enjoy him. But I think they do. I think this person, I mean, they do enjoy him because that's all they tweet about. So all they do is they attack people who like him. Maybe that's what bugs me is because even people who like the guy uh, gets thrown under the bus. Which is like, okay, a little bit more than I thought is reasonable. I don't give a fuck if somebody, doesn't like, if somebody likes somebody. Hey, fuck you if you like this guy. Okay, okay. But apparently, that's a big thing to do these days. And uh, it's fun to respond. I don't mean, they're not going to read it. I'm not verified. I don't have any followers. So that's why we're doing it here. If you're loyal to Donald Trump, okay, well, that one's just nothing to say there. What do you say to that? I disagree. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'll work. Yeah, these people, you know, come on. What do you expect? You don't really reply expecting them to read it. You reply for the sake of saying the most ridiculous thing possible. But uh, they didn't say anything funny. So they, didn't say anything. they didn't say anything wrong, to be honest. I didn't, I didn't really disagree with that. If you Maybe that's... That's it. That's just their opinion. I don't give a fuck. Armed robber. 
Yeah, that's not really the type of shit I want to look look at, dog. I'm trying to not look at violent bullshit here. I'm trying to look at uh, whatever. So this guy, this clown, has amassed a huge following just by pretending to be uh, a moderate. That's what I've come to find. That's what I've sur- surmised for this guy. Did uh, he's like, look at me? I'm super open minded, posting uh, things. In, in, in looking like I'm a moderate or whatever. He's not a moderate. He's a fucking liberal. And he's just a little more uh, reasonable. Like he's at least, he doesn't just call people names. Right? I don't, I don't know. Does he? Imagine if Joe Biden's name appeared on Jeffrey Epstein's flight list seven times. Okay, why would I even care? Yeah, let me imagine something so boring. Oh, can you imagine if Joe Biden went on a plane seven times? Whoa, mind-blowing. I don't care if he was going to the esophagus islands in Jupiter's seventh moon. You cock Oh, he went on a plane. Okay, I didn't even get... Th- He's just doing a hypothetical, and it's, I'm already pissed off. Imagine if Joe Biden's name appeared on every empty flying in human time. Impeachment. And I'm supposed to keep reading? Because this is so interesting already. I, mean, I really want to know what the options are for if this happened. What the fuck do I care? Get the fuck out of here. Sorry. Sorry for getting so angry over such a little thing, but, you know, I don't like doofusism. I like dwarfism. I like it. I think it's fine if somebody is born a dwarf. I don't really, I don't really make a big fuss about it. Okay, so let's get a juicy one, and then we'll get off with this shit. And uh, this one, you know, this is not recent. I'm kind of like doing ones that are like not from a day ago. You know, what about this crime? I do enjoy these ones about the crime rate. Going down. That's a fun one because it's it's like one where a lot of statistical noise it goes out. Yeah, you know, a lot of shit. Like, yeah, you know, you know, fun one. You know, let's dig in. Crime at near fifty year lows. Unemployment near record lows. This is how fast I read. I don't know if you think that I'm actually just doing this as a, as a bitter stuff. No, I actually do read this slow, whether I'm saying it out loud or not. I am an extremely slow reader, but once I read it and then once I get it, then I will talk back and make you fucking. I'll demonstrate. You maybe maybe I don't look like I am confident right now. Crime at near fifty year lows. Unemployment near record lows. Stock market ringing high. What the fuck do those things have to do with each other? Seems like Go Woke actually makes build a successful company that includes everyone. Okay, well, I mean, I, I, I did read it. I mean, it took a little time to to, to read it. I did read it. I'm, I'm confused, but I did read it, and then it shows some charts. The violent crime rate today is near 50 near long. Okay. The charts are totally going to connect the dots as to how any of what he said makes sense. Okay. Unemployment. It spiked in 2020 and now it's lower. Okay. I mean, I, I could I could buy that. Nobody's complaining about not having a job. They're complaining about not making money from their multiple fucking jobs. Doesn't mean the economy is good just because people have jobs. Money's cheap. I mean, okay, inflation means money is cheap, right? So that means they have the money to hire people. Doesn't mean the fucking money's doing anything. What you are you fucking idiot? Sorry. 
the reason I made that noise and face uh, was to compliment how I just slam dunk that guy into the fucking ground. So it's four in the morning, so I don't know why I'm yelling so long. Man, I gotta be quiet. So anyway, uh, uh, this guy's a fucking retard because uh, just because unemployment's down. I don't know if you're aware of monetary policy, but just because, you know, they could raise the supply of money arbitrarily very easily. The Fed, now I'm getting serious. Now it's my serious voice. The Fed could just fucking, the Fed could just increase the money supply pretty arbitrarily. And then if businesses have access to cash, which they they did because of COVID, you know, COVID all that shit created a shitload of inflation, which means cash got cheap. So, you know, would that, so that, so, you know, that's no problem to hire people. We got the cash. Cash is cheap. What's not cheap is what the labor is producing. Or no, that is cheap. The output is cheap because inflation. You get it? You could pay people a boatload of money, but that don't mean the money is going to be worth enough to get them the quality of life that they deserve for putting in the work that that money is giving them. Even if they're skilled workers. They're skilled workers. Sorry, I, I, I lost my train of thought. I thought I was going to say, it sounded like I was going to say something smart. But then I, I forgot what, where I was going, you know. But anyway, you need you need uh, more than just money. Not not that that's what they say. So what are they saying? It's not recorded. It's not good. It's still is it still? Sorry. Okay. Hey boy, can you drink a water? Okay. Sorry. I thought I was having a. Having a mental breakdown, yeah, but it just turns out I just forgot uh, how to how to live, how to breathe. Edit that part out. Edit that part out. It shows we. It shows me looking weak, and I don't like that. Okay, so the U.S. unemployment hasn't been this low since. And then the violent crime. They're trying to do two in one. They're trying to do a two birds in one. They're trying to convince you. You, there's nobody that would be dumb enough to be convinced by this. But like, this person is so confident in their baloney logic in stats that they think just showing this little chart is going to change people's minds about two major issues: the economy and violent crime. Wow, you really trying to do a hole in one there? It's what it is, a fucking hubris on this guy, and it turns out he's fucking flat wrong. Unemployment is down because of the money supply going up. The problem is that even though people are employed, the buying power, the purchasing power went down. So the money that they're getting, it, I know it's very, my voice gets very serious when I talk about the economy. So let's not do that. But that's why he's a fucking idiot. Because just because you have a job doesn't mean you can pay the bills. So anyway, and then the violent crime rate today is near a uh, fifty-year low. Um, this one is more fun, but be like, because it's not as obvious, you have to dig a little deeper to get into why it's bullshit. So the reason this is bullshit <laughs> is because obviously crime is not down. We're not fucking retarded. Anybody who's anybody goes outside or goes to, lives in a near major city or had a, he, you know lives anywhere near a major, even 300 miles within a major city, you know that crime ain't fucking anywhere down. Something not down. It's up. It goes up every year, just like inflation. Go, it's it's up. You're trying to sweep it under the rug, just like you're doing with, in, with inflation. Hey, all this inflation. It's good because now unemployment's down. Isn't that great? Never mind that people are not paying their bills and working their ass off and still in debt. But And this also, same thing with violent crime. It's down, even though it doesn't seem like it based on anybody who has a fucking brain 
who goes outside. Yeah, crying about all things is down. But this chart clearly shows that it is. So what's going on? What's going on? Okay, I'm not smart enough to explain what's going on. Just because I got one doesn't mean I can get both. Oh, oh, oh I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fucking college professor? Timmy Gusto has his limits, and this one I got to do a little thinking about. You know, okay, so maybe statistically the reporting of crime has, it certainly looks like it leveled off. But barely, yeah, it's leveled. It's leveled off. It's not like going down. It's just stagnant. But anyway, let's just say that's true. The reporting of crime has gone down. So if you're really thinking about it, okay. Big whoop. Uh, the reporting of crime, number of crimes. Even if, the, even if the number of actual crimes went down, forget about reporting them. Because, of course, they don't report all the violent crimes. Do they? Yeah, they do. They report all the violent crimes, but that's the thing. We could see the number of violent crimes, and it doesn't look like it's going down. But let's just assume on average in the whole country, yeah, sure, it's going down. <laughs> Here's the college professor debunking of this chat, just like we did with the other one. The reason this guy's retarded with this chat is because if you read the fine print... It is FBI data for what, where? It just says crime rate per 100,000 population. Where? In the whole country? Guys, I got news for you. The country's a pretty big place, asshole. Just because crime went down per cap, but it doesn't mean crime hasn't gotten a lot fucking worse in the places where crime is bread. That kind of makes a big difference. That... Hey, have you noticed how in 1970 there is only 200 million people in the country? And by, by comparison, since there's now 300 million, crime is down. No, you fucking idiot. Crime isn't down. The population grew. Crime has gotten a lot worse in all those fucking shithole cities that Trump talked about. Those third world cities. Yeah, crime is down. Yeah, the whole country, because the whole country is a pretty big place. Gee, I can't believe I actually was able to debunk. Oh, that, that, was, that was supposed to be a slam dunk. No, that was supposed to be a three-pointer. That was supposed to be a three-pointer. I can't believe I just debunked two fucking charts and all it took was this here fucking brain on my head. I mean, you know, in my head, whatever the fuck. It's in my head. All I had to do was use this brain inside my head to be like, this guy's a fucking idiot. And, you know, I wasn't even trying to I wasn't trying to school him. It's just that if you give me enough time, there's bound to be what'll happen. Because I'm not a, you know. If you haven't noticed, I'm not just some asshole on Twitter. I'm a successful performer. So, that, you know, I kind of know how to live my life. I kind of know how to live my life. So anyway, you got to know how to uh, uh, make a uh, critical think. That's what it fucking is. Because if somebody presents you a chat and it says, hey, 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 crime is down. Crime is down. So therefore, you must adhere to my perspective. I don't know what this motion is. This is like some blowjob. You must suck my dick because of the chat. So critical thinking is where you go, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, I'm not a f I wasn't born yesterday. I get the charts are usually pretty, you know, rigorous. I get the charts are usually like a, you know, like a, 
drop mic type of thing because it's like data. But hey, you know, data is only useful when you know what the fuck it represents. And oh, also how to interpret that data too. Because yeah, the data, I got what it represents, right? Pretty quickly, I got what it rep. But interpreting the implications of how it became stagnated and because it doesn't make sense. So we got to explain. Wait, so in 1970, <laughs> crime was worse than in 2024 when after all of that. Sure, since the 70s, things have only gotten better. Yeah. Yeah, race war, like racial tension has only gotten way better since the 70s. Because we, it's not like we invented a holiday about it to perpetuate racial fucking tension for political reasons and more than that, business reasons too, of course. It's all connected, all connected. Business and corporate, you know, corporations and the politics are all oh, the same thing. They own each other. Corporations own the politicians. And I'm sounding like a kooky fucking guy from the 70s, man. Because that's when they started. That's when people started saying that. But it's true. It's just that people start to tell you to shut up when you say that. Because like, well, okay, I don't care. So do something about it. Like nobody wants to just be told, this is fucked up, man. The power structure is all fucked up, mate. You know, it's like, hey, they invented a holiday just to convince black people that they're still slaves so that they torment white people forever. And how do they profit off that? I don't know. I'm sure I'll get the answer by the end of the episode here, but this is the Tim Augusto show. We don't fucking. It's not my job. <laughs> To solve politics. I'm not trying to solve the issue. I'm just trying to even point out that it is an issue to invent a holiday out of thin air under the guise of diversity and inclusion when that ain't what's going to happen. I mean, they're not stupid. People that invent holidays, it's not like they just did it for fun. Hey, let's just pull a rabbit out of the. Let's just do something for fun. Let's shut off the whole economy for one day for fun. No, they they know, they know what they're doing. They're not fucking idiots. They knew that they could sneak in a, a stock holiday, a bank holiday in June because there's no other bank holidays. So they knew June had an opening. They, obviously, there's a reason that bank holidays exist. Duh! Not cause it's not cause we like you know diversity. So anyway, it's just a, it's political and it's obviously there's business that goes really deep. That is who the fuck knows why they invented that holiday. It's very many layers to it. A lot of people getting rich, richer. You already have to be rich to invent a holiday that doesn't even have to do with your people. You're just doing it to manipulate a whole group of people. You're manipulating so many uh, dynamics. You're causing a a rift in a in a, it's it's pretty depressing that it's like oh th thank you. So now we have to continue to have racial tension every fucking year. A reminder that white people are the oppressors. Thank you. Yeah, those are good reasons to make. There's a reason for it. Just because I don't understand the holiday doesn't mean I'm not going to celebrate. I'm going to fucking celebrate. Okay. Let's do one more tweet and I'm done. Fuck, I can't believe I ripped a party against tweets all by. Well, I got to reply. I can't just do it on my podcast. Okay, I'll, t I'll tell him very short. I'll, br I'll briefly. I ripped your... Logic. <laughs> That's kind of a not very uh, uh, cool thing to do. Just be like, yo, man, I fucking ripped your tweet apart on my podcast, dog. That's not like a very cordial thing to do. So I'm just going to say Timmy Gusto has 
I'm just going to be polite. I'm going to say, Timmy Gusto politely disagrees. But, you know, I'm going to give him a little disgrace with your trying to kill two huge political <laughs> birds with... See, I'm really dressing them down. Dude, I love dressing people. That, that's what I, I... I'm not saying I'm like fucking... Like an artist at it, but... I'm an apprentice. I'm so, like, like I'm not Leonardo da Vinci, but I'm like an apprentice of his, of how good I am at fucking just dressing down people. It takes a lot of skill to do that. You gotta really fucking be creative. So, the, so this guy, I already took the fucking piss out of his parade by. Uh, Doing what I did with the actual content of the charts. But I don't care about that. I want to just rip him apart. So Timmy Gusto politely disagrees with you trying to kill two huge political birds with one stone. The sweeping confidence it must take. <laughs> Woo! To think... You can simply slap two charts on. I got to make sure it even reads. Okay, slap two charts. Slap two charts. Slap two charts up. And think people will be. Dumb enough <laughs> to misinterpret not j not one of them. <laughs> Sorry, it's getting a little bit convoluted. The lot this this happens with me a lot. It's like I get so twist. I twist the dagger. The it gets very wordy. I'm a very wordy insulter, but that's the point. You got to paint a picture to really drive the new, the point home of how they're, you know, you got to sculpt a fucking beautiful, seamless insult to really drive it. So that's what I'm doing. So the sweeping confidence, it must take the thing. You can still be slapped too charged up. We think people will be dumb enough to misinterpret. Not one of them, but two easy to debunk charts. And that's it. I'm out of fucking... I'm out of text. I might have to subscribe to the pro just to be able to ramble on, just to be able to go on about how I hate this guy. But I think this is enough to give him the gist of the insult. The huge, I'm, I'm, I'm dressing him down by, by I'm holding his hand too. I'm holding his hand while I dress him down. That's the fucking beauty of it. I'm putting so much delicacy into explaining the insult that it's almost like I'm doing him a favor. I mean, not literally, it's an insult. I'm not doing him a fucking favor because I know people think that. Some people do that. They go, dude, I know you, needed, you need to hear. No, that's not a fucking favor to just insult somebody. But the craftsmanship that is going into this insult, he should have, you know, he'll be like, well, this guy's fucking nuts. That's what I want him to, that's what I'm trying to get out of this. So I'm going to post that and then see if it makes sense. Okay, so Timmy Gusto politely disagrees with your trying to, <laughs> it already fucking works. It already is beautiful. It's really good because of the grammar. The attention to detail where I say, with your trying, <laughs> I love that turn of, I love that English or whatever you call it, that, uh, I love that you could just do that. You could, you could turn the, the pre, the tense, the present tense into the, who gives a fuck? 
Okay, so I disagree that with your trying to kill two huge political birds with one stone. So I start off polite. The sweeping confidence it must take to think you can slim, simply slap two charts up and think people will be dumb enough to misinterpret not one of them, but too easy to debunk. <laughs> it's wordy. It's wordy, but it it drives the point that I'm th thoroughly unimpressed with his charts. I'm thoroughly impressed by how dumb he is to think that anybody who happens to see this would just be, oh, okay, then I guess I'll vote for the other guy. Because a chart has lines. That means, actually, all this crime that you're seeing and what is the other thing? Oh, yeah, the economy that you're seeing. Nah, it's, it's not in the gutter. It's not in the gutter. That's all it took, just slapping up two charts. The gall. Beautiful. I love people who have gall. Nah, I don't, I don't have gall. I just fucking drink alcohol. I go on Pornhub. And then I sign in, and I upload content, and then I hopefully don't go to jail. No, I'm just kidding. It's not illegal. It's just me showing my dick. All right. I think we're done. Thank you very much. Piss off. I'm not going to get up. I'm just going to sit here and continue doing what I was doing. It's up to whoever runs this to turn off the thing.